Hey guys, and welcome back to the final episode of the year for Watch Out. I'm your host, Drew Pizzullo, and today we are actually going to look at the new service that eBay has on its website and for its watch uh, collection that they 100% authentically guarantee. So it's their authenticity program of 2020 that they pretty much rolled out last year. Uh, but it's really taken effect this year. This is the first time I have uh, bought a watch and used that program. So we're going to go through that today and we'll do a little quick review on the watch that I got from them, uh, which is the Omega Seamaster. So let's just take a quick look at what you would receive if you went on eBay, purchased a watch through that 100% authenticity guaranteed program this is what it would look like uh, first off it comes in by fedex um, i guess it'd come in any different way ups or by via the post office but mine came in via fedex and basically what you pretty much basically have is your standard uh, cardboard package right here with a security seal uh, on the outside there is a tab that you rip open uh, for extra protection, I guess that's so they know that you got it and you opened it up after you sign for it, obviously, through either FedEx or uh, UPS or any other shipping service. Um, when you open the box, you will see a myriad of things. Uh, first thing you say, you see, is the time has come. That's a cute pun. Um, and then you actually receive a sheet. And on the sheet, it says, congratulations on your purchase. Your watch has been verified by expert authenticators. So they're letting you know pretty much that they have deemed it 100% authentic, which is pretty cool. Uh, the next thing out of this box is what they like to give you, uh, their guarantee card. Okay, and it is a picture of the watch and everything about it, the serial number, the case material, um, the model number, everything. Pretty much have everything there. The movement type reference number, everything is on this card. So this is the card you would need if you ever want to resell a watch that you buy in the future. Uh, this is your guarantee from eBay that this is 100% authentic and it is not a replica. Also uh, in this little package is three cards. Um, and you're saying, well, are these any type of warranty, um, redemption cards? Well, no, in a way, it's actually eBay's way of saying thank you for using us, especially if you make an expensive purchase. Uh, what they do is give you 10% off your next uh, purchase on eBay. And the kicker is it has to be for watches over $2,000 only. So, hey, that's still $200 uh, that you're getting off for any watch that you do buy off eBay. And they give you three of these. So it's really six hundred dollars. The catch is you have to off you have to use it by 131, 2021. Now when I got this watch, it was December 15th. So it gives you a little over a year to use it, which is pretty good. Um, especially if you want to make another big purchase within that year, you're gonna get 10% off. It's three thousand dollars, it's an extra three hundred dollars off. Nothing wrong with that. So I'm definitely going to be keeping these three uh, gift cards as well. Um, the next thing that they give you in the box, I'll show you the rest of the box, they give you the presentation box inside their eBay box, because this one did not come with box or papers from Omega. So, they give you a presentation box, which holds uh, the bigger box, which holds the presentation box inside. So let's fold that away. And it basically just folds out. It's a nice uh, felt leather bo uh, felt box actually has eBay on the top over here and the watch is inside so basically the other thing you have to realize is when the watch first comes to you they have the actual watch and then they have this red tape attached to the back of the movement and they're basically saying you better like this thing because if it's um, if it's taken off, if removed, it is void and you cannot return it. I do not know how they can really enforce that to a degree 
because what happens if the watch doesn't work a day later uh, or the movement gets defective a day later um, and you have a 30-day or 14-day guarantee policy through eBay. So they're kind of contradicting themselves in that aspect, especially if they have a money-back guarantee through the seller on eBay. So I wouldn't pay too much attention to that. There's ways to get around it. Um, so let's take a look at the actual watch that I got from the Authenticity Guaranteed program through eBay. Uh, I actually went with um, my second Seamaster that I've ever owned. Uh, first one was back in college. This is the one I wanted, particularly, as you can see here, it is uh, the Seamaster, which I'd love to show it to you. The, the reflective dial actually has a nice blue tone to it. Let me see if I put this over by the light, if you can get a better view of this. Let's see. Yeah. All right. So you, it's really, um, yeah, you can see it a little bit better with there. You got a reflective blue dial with this sucker. And uh, Rolex uses this a lot too. Um, so basically, that's what it has. It's the blue dial Omega Seamaster two-tone diver's watch. This is a 40 millimeter, 41 if you're including the crown. Um, this is from about, I guess, well, let's look on the card. How old is it? Let's see if they actually give you an actual date. They do not. Oh, God, they have everything else, so that's about right. Um, but I think I read on, on my listing is probably between 2005 and 2008. So you're looking between 12 and 15 years old. And um, what I like about the older type of Seamasters, now most people know the Seamasters for James Bond. Um, my uh, partner on the other show, It's About Time, uh, Jared has had several episodes on his uh, Omega uh, Seamaster James Bond when he owned it. And um, very, very popular model. Uh, the Seamaster, the Constellation, and um, I'd say the Speedmaster are the three most popular models of uh, Omega watches that you can get out there. There's DeVille and other ones as well, but those are the, these are the three most popular. Uh, what I do like about the uh, Seamasters, they are simple. Um, this one, and they do have different options. Obviously, you have uh, your starter models, which come all steel. This is the upgraded version, so this has an 18 solid um, bezel, 18 karat solid bezel, along with uh, the two-tone links, and they are 18 karat solid gold as well, okay, as you can see over there. And uh, the luminescence on this is definitely fantastic as well. It does have super lume like Oris, like uh, Rolex, and um, they do use the super lume so it lasts for, well, at least can last for 20, 30 years sometimes, depending on how much you do wear them. Um, if you do go to eBay, um, they are getting more expensive, as most watches are these days. But you can still get them anywhere in the um, stainless steel model between $2,000 and $2,400. For the um, two-tone model, you're looking anywhere between like $2,800 and $3,300. Uh, I would say is more the going rate. You can see even as high as about $4,000. And they even have some of these watches that come in all gold. What? as well and they're more like eight nine thousand dollars um because omega does use real gold they don't use gold plated uh like other brands like such as brightling does so um i'll show you the back of it over here you do have the seamaster back okay it is open through a pretty traditional uh, watch removal tool so you can regulate the watch if needed the links are pretty complicated with this one. These are called the Planet Ocean Links, uh, one of their popular models that they use the links pretty much for all of their Seamaster models are the Planet Ocean. And you do, I would recommend you take this to a uh, watchmaker or your local jeweler who has specific tools to remove and adjust links. Because what happens is on the left and the right side, they have an extra um, 
it's called like a watch sleeve in the in the link holder and it does make them extremely hard to get out especially if they haven't been removed many times uh, and if you don't have the right tool you're not going to be able to get out you're just going to have the tool get stuck in there and then you have to bring it to the jeweler anyway so it's worth the extra 10 15 bucks to just get it and do it uh, that way let them make a little bit of money everybody's got to make money somehow right so uh it's pretty simple though it's only got a date okay um the top a lever up here is for when you're underwater uh to release pressure it's a pressure valve but the the one you're looking at basically the crown is over here you pull it out once you can change the date pull it out twice and of course you can change the time um, basically, Omegas usually run, they are COSC certified, so they're going to be running um, as they should be, especially if eBay is going to go through them and tell you they're 100% guaranteed and working perfectly. Uh, between, I'd say, roughly 4 seconds fast to 4 seconds slow a day. Um, so basically, that's around the, the range you're going to want them running anyway. Um, they do, this, this watch does feature two types of links. These Planet Oceans come in full and half links. So you can see the half link right here. You can get those on eBay if you are short, uh, both the half and the full. The half usually runs you about 20 to 30 bucks a link and the full anywhere between uh, 40 and $60 a link. So again, they are not, races, shut up, races. So, there goes my phone again. Boy, this is some episode. Um, anyhow, um, that's basically an overall overview of the Seamaster. The newer Seamasters are a little bit larger. Uh, I have seen the Seamasters anywhere between 42 and 44 millimeters um, of today's models. They were from 2015 to 2020. The older ones are a little bit smaller. They come both in quartz and automatic, of course, with a variety of dial colors. And the uh, quartz ones can even be as small as 36 millimeters, so which is the old standard Rolex size. So it's pretty interesting when you get into Seamasters uh, what the different options you have are. Um, so basically what you want to do with a Seamaster is definitely look at the size you want, look at the color that you're looking for, and then figure out do you want a um, automatic or a quartz uh, watch. Um, both are um, diver certified, so you can go underneath with either of them. It doesn't matter if it's battery or uh, automatic, so don't be afraid of that. So basically, um, this is how I'm going to close the year with my Christmas gift to myself. As I have liked it ever since I got it a couple days ago, I wanted to share it with everybody as my big finale to 2020, which has been a tough year for everybody. Um, I wish everybody uh, happy holidays and uh, hopefully a healthier and happier new year ahead. We will be uh, renewing it for season three. Coming up, oh, my dog wants to say hello. So this is my puppy, Reese's. She's now, I guess, two and a half years old. That's what you heard before on the on the video. And um, so I just wanted to, uh, again, wish everybody a happy holidays. You know, uh, definitely with the vaccine coming in now. Hey, I hope uh, everything gets back to normal sooner rather than later. Uh, we will be back for season three next month with our normal episode. And um, we hope to get back to what we used to get back to i can get back to our friends get back to life as we know it so uh, if you have any comments uh, or suggestions on episodes for me to do in the coming year of 2021 please shoot me an email or send it a uh, suggestion uh, on our site on youtube and thanks guys uh, we appreciate you hanging in for another year with us and we'll see you in 2021 so stay safe and watch out. We'll see you next year.